on the shit right now I think I pulled a ligament Fashion killer, a liar, assassin Vet mom, villain, Balenciaga bastard Got that melanin magic Brown skin popping, always fly Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chunky here um, I am so happy to be back today I know I've been gone for a minute But you know, I always come back Your girl always find her way back um, today I have for you some shrimp and fish tacos and these are They are from where you think they are. They're from um, the girl that provided me um, Some food some mariscos before so this is called like mariscos. She sells like uh, ceviche <sighs> She sells like ceviche like everything seafood. Oh, and I also ate the um, chile relleno from her too. So cheers. I think this is a fish. Mmm. Mmm. Melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. And so I'm going to squeeze some lime on here. I'm super hungry. I'm gonna squeeze some lime and I'm oh shoot I didn't bring my chili it has some chili on it mm. the tortilla is homemade tortilla mm. If you guys hear a noise in the background, it's the cat. I guess you're just going to have to get used to it. Because if I lock him up, he'll cry the whole time. I know I've been gone for a minute. I was sick. Um, I was sick. And then also I've been... um. I've been really like, I want to say love sick, but I think I'm having like separation anxiety from my vato. Um, I was legitimately sick. I had um, strep throat and it was really bad. It hurt a lot and they gave me strong antibiotics, but I was also really love sick, like not love sick, but like really um separation anxiety from my vato because you know he works full time now so it's just like it's really hard for me to be like he legitimately like is like like nine to f not even nine to five like more than that so I've been really like Just been going through it, like, been getting, like, trying to get used to the schedule of me, like, doing everything on my own, so. It's really hard. Um, it's hard for somebody that is not used to it, you know what I mean? And everybody's different, and everybody takes things different, but me, I'm not taking it well. Um, I know somebody out there is going to be like, where's the tapatio? Like, where's the fucking tapatio? She puts, like, this, like sauce on it and the sauce is a little spicy so if you're not if you're gonna order from her because you most definitely can order from her if you're from LA near the Montebello East LA Whittier I think even Downey area she delivers you could um hit her up I'm gonna put her information down below she delivered to me today so this is fish when it has avocado, it really, it doesn't look like much when you show it, but, mm. I didn't even get a thumbnail. My pet peeve. Is when people do thumbnails like right in the middle of doing the video. 
Like, it looks so stupid. It annoys me. I could already see the comments. Shade towards this person, that person, this person, that person. No. No specific shade. Just... Mm. I love, like, when tacos have, like, have, like, freshness with it. That's why I always like to eat my, like, my regular tacos. Like, I love tacos de cabeza, tacos de lengua. Mostly tacos de lengua, mostly tacos de cabeza. But I'll, I'll most definitely eat, like, different other, like, meats of tacos. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's Mexican tacos. And the cat is going crazy. I don't know why. Cheers to that bitch stopping her door every fucking day. Anyway, so, I'm when I do eat regular tacos, I always have to put something, like, like, I'll put avocado salsa, and I'll put, like, fresh onion, and, like, lots of lemon, and um, I'll, even if I have avocado, I'll put avocado on it. I like cucumber and radishes mm, on my regular tacos. Excuse me, sir. Eating. Hey. Mm. And I always love to dredge my tacos with lemon. This is... Okay. Let me get something straight. These are supposedly limes, okay? Um, the last time I was like, oh, I love lemon. And I w it was a lime. And people were like, that's not a lemon. That's a lime. And I was like, bitch. Like, ever since I was a little girl, these were fucking lemons. And, and like... Other people, other people were like Mexicans call Mexicans call limes lemons too, and lemons are lemons and limes are lemons too. So I wasn't wrong. She told me that um, the tortillas were freshly made. I thought they were going to be like, because some people make the tortillas, like some Mexicans make the tortillas like really thick. And I was like, um, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Like I might still like it because I eat anything, but it might not be like, it might not be like so good. But these tortillas, they're not like so like, like how can I say it? Like. They're not too masai. They're really like they go perfect with the with the fish and everything. Like it's it's not too much tortilla. Stop it! Playing with my lights. My lights are off limit. Play with everything else you want to play with. My lights, no. Damn, this cat's a bully. He's honestly bullying me, you guys. I'm down eating these tacos. I was like, mm, how, many, how many have I ate? You guys count how many have I ate already. How many, how many am I down? Mmm.
I remember somebody said like, why do you drink Diet Coke? Because it supposedly like, so supposedly somebody said that like Diet Coke makes you eat more, but I definitely think that Diet Coke makes you feel more full. Because it has more gas in it. It's definitely more gassy. How many tacos can Chunky eat? That's the question. Okay, so like the last video, I definitely had something to say, like some stories. But it looks like I'm going to be finishing my food pretty quick. So I guess that's another story time for another video. And I, you know what? Honestly, sometimes I'm like happy if the, if the mukbang goes pretty fast and... Like, the food is pretty good, and I get, like, some good chewing in and some good, like, satisfying eating in. I don't really mind because then I could always save that story. Because there's only, there's only so many fucking stories you could say. Like, I, so, I think it's so ridiculous when it, all these story time videos and the girls, like, 19. Like, they be, like, little teenage girls doing story time videos, and they're only, like, 19. And they're, like, they have, like, a million story times on their on their YouTube. I'm just, like... Girl, girl, but yeah, that's so funny. Ooh, let me burp real quick. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, that one came from the heart. Mm. The tortilla literally like melts in your mouth. I need more lemon. Lemon. Mm. These lemons are so juicy. Oh my god. I give it a, a A plus. 10 plus just because of the lemons because the lemons are fucking delicious mm. So, I've been a little sad. What? I've been a little sad because Vato hasn't been here, but what? He's literally right here, right in front of my face. I, I fed you already. I can't give you none of this. You're going to get sick. <clears throat> so, Saturday, Vato has off. So, I'm going to be doing a mukbang with Vato. So, yay! Wato is gonna be here. I definitely, I definitely like love my my mukbangs more with Vato because he makes me feel so comfortable and I could be myself around him. Like he never judges me, so I feel like I could just be like one hundred percent myself and just like I just feel like he's like my comfort blanket. You know what I mean? So I guess tomorrow, tomorrow, um, I will be shooting a mukbang with Bato. I don't know what we're going to eat yet. If you want to leave any suggestions, you can, but it has to be in the LA area and not too far from me. 
because then we won't be able to do it here. Let me know if you guys want to see me. Comment down below if you guys want to see us in here in a house mukbang. Or if you want to see us like go somewhere and mukbang. I know like it's not that satisfying when people eat like at, at um restaurants and stuff because there's like noise and I know I personally enjoy seeing people eat at home because you can hear their chewing and everything and that's like basically what mukbang is. It's like the enjoyment of like seeing people enjoy their food and eating their food and chewing and like the noises and the ASMR and everything of it. One last taco. Am I full? No, I don't think I'm full. I can most definitely eat more, but we'll stop. You know what songs in my head? Um, what is it called? Melanin Magic by Remy Ma with with uh, Chris Brown. That's a new song. Oh my god, I was listening to I listened to it like five times already while I was doing my makeup. Those pretty brown eyes, no all on it. They all want you. You know, because I got those pretty brown eyes. You know. Mm. But it's also like an anthem for like dark skinned girls and like girls like with that beautiful melanin skin or dark dark skin. Oh my god. I have a friend like oh my god, I'm in love with her skin. Her skin tone like she has a beautiful, like, brown, tan skin tone, and I love it. I'm in love with darker skin. Like, I used to get tans, like, a couple of summers ago, I used to get fake tan. Even though I'm, like, not super white, I just love how dark skin looks, like, especially in the summer. And, like, with these type of nails on dark skin with this color, oh, and, like, bright pink, and, like, it's just beautiful. And then like your your skit your your um highlight pops more and everything. Ugh. Uh. Ugh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh. So what up to all my dark skinned girls out there? Mm. All right, you guys. Your bitch is done. Voila, magic. So, I love you guys. Stay chunky out there, you guys, because chunky is fucking beautiful. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I'm a fucking dork. Okay, love you guys. Peace out.